monitors the entire IP network, all of those devices, and it does it remotely. It analyzes the power consumption and the utilization of those devices and ultimately gives you the ability to build large-scale policies to change the energy state of those devices. So in the old days, we had on and off. Today, every single device on the internet has some way to power it, you know, sleep and hibernate like we know in PCs, but switches, routers, network infrastructure, printers, and copiers. This concept was born out of a security project. For those of you that know me, I was the founder of Internet Security Systems, a company that invented intrusion detection and vulnerability detection on the network. Today, instead of monitoring for vulnerabilities and threats like we did at ISS, we're monitoring for energy consumption and utilization. It's a very, very similar concept, and it's quite a challenge because no one has ever used the IP protocols to monitor dynamic energy consumption, and more importantly, to be able to control the state of that end device. I think all of us know the dynamics of the global energy market. We have demand rising off the charts. Um, the growth in middle class in China, the growth of the internet alone. Think about how many data centers it requires for Facebook to have 500 million users, social networking, passing content, et cetera. This explosion in IT infrastructure, and for those of you that no IPv6, it gives us about 10 to the 23 usable addresses. And so there's a big expectation that this internet is going to keep growing and growing and growing as businesses automate their processes to drive cost out of their business and differentiate themselves. Global energy costs, I think we saw the cost curves today. While I'm a big fan of renewables, wind, solar, water, et cetera, um, it's a very, very small fraction of the energy that's actually being consumed. Energy prices are rising anywhere from 10 to 15 percent throughout most of the um, populated business centers around the world, and corporations are being challenged to manage those costs while regulatory pressure and other things drive the uh, cost of power and energy even higher. So what JewelX does is we help companies identify how much energy is being consumed across their distributed IP infrastructures, and typically that's about 50% of a company's energy consumption, 50% in lighting and HVAC, and about 50% in the computational infrastructure, and we identify where systems are being unutilized or un underutilized and allow you to control them. That gap, that energy gap, is real dollars, euros, and yen. And we return those uh, costs or that conservation back to the customer. So there's a hard ROI. Our typical customer has a full payback um, within the first six months of installing this system, um, which is a very, very compelling business proposition. Let's look at some of the enterprise challenges today. First of all, no business enterprise has any single system that allows them to monitor the dynamic energy consumption across their enterprise. They know it's consuming energy 7 by 24 by 365, but it's difficult to measure and manage. Most companies are just pulling together power bills, aggregating them, and then trying to determine how much energy did we use. No one has any idea how much energy did marketing use, or how much energy did we use on the seventh floor, or more importantly, how can you possibly manage something that you can't measure? There's an old management axiom that says, if you cannot measure it, you can't manage it. And if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. That's where JewelX comes in, and we're operating across three typical domains in a business enterprise. So today, all of our corporate offices are obviously IP connected. This is where our knowledge workers are. We have printers and copiers and PCs and wireless access points, and we have Linux boxes and edge routers. 
Then we have data centers. We all know what's in data centers, massive amounts of servers and storage devices, IP connected uh, PDUs and computer room air conditioning units. And then I don't think we're building a new building today that doesn't have an IP enabled management system for lighting and HVAC. All of these systems are being connected over IP. IP is the great homogenizer. And as we move forward, we're well beyond the inflection point in terms of the, the fact that IP is the great integrator of all things smart and all things digital. And so, you know, when we walk into a data center and they're monitoring power with hardware meters and, and they're spending an enormous amount and we run JewelX through the data center and show them that 40% of their servers are dead or operating at less than 10% utilization, they have no visibility into that without these, a system like JewelX. And that's what makes it so compelling. So here's what our software application does. And it is very, very similar to the intelligence security systems we've been, we built for the first 15 years and invented through ISS. But our system is a software application. We can host it and deliver it as a service or for customers like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley and big banks that are really concerned about security, we load it on a server and they're on their network. That software automatically begins monitoring those networks, all the PCs and Macs and VOIP phones and printers and copiers across the data centers, the core switches, the servers, the routers, just remotely monitoring very lightweight application, and it's determining two things. Utilization, how is this system being used? Is it being used productively or not? And secondly, energy consumption. How much energy is it consuming? Secondly, we have a very powerful analytic engine that allows you to do simulation, what if analysis. Our system even recommends policies that you can implement and shows you how much carbon it will reduce, how much energy it will reduce, and most importantly, how much dollars it will save you in the operation of your uh, uh, networks. Lastly, this policy engine can be used either in a simulation mode or in an actual uh, execution proxy mode. So JewelX is turning on and off devices when they're not being used, or lowering the power or raising the power. We don't live in a black and white world anymore. Every single device has the ability to be power stated to different levels. And the most important thing, JewelX is IP end device agnostic. That means we don't care what's connected to the end of that network, whether it's a printer, a copier, a PC, or a Mac. We don't install any software agents, so we're just remotely monitoring. And I think we all know that there's almost an infinite amount of devices that are being plugged into networks today. Most importantly for our customers, we do this without any software agents. So we don't ask you to install a piece of software on a PC or on a server. We don't ask, you can't install software on a phone or a router or a switch. That's why this is so powerful. Secondly, there are no hardware meters. And thirdly, there are no changes to your network or system infrastructure. Basically, what this product does through a very interesting application that truly, I believe, you have to be a brilliant security engineer before you can figure out how to sit on the wire and know exactly what's going on on the inside of every single device. And that's where part of our unique backgrounds are bringing a whole new wave of innovation to the energy efficiency management system. But through discovery and assessment, uh, policy and control and reporting, this is a closed loop control system, if you will, monitoring, analyzing, and managing across the IP infrastructure. Most importantly, we've built in a lot of innovative ways for users to control their own power. So here on my iPhone, I've got the Jewel X mobile app. You can go to the Apple iPhone app store. 
and download it, but our customers are using this, allowing their employees to opt in. When the employee gets close to their building, it turns on their computer, their lights, changes their heating or air conditioning. And when they leave their building or leave their workspace, through the GPS resolution, it automatically controls those devices. Most importantly, it shows each employee how much energy they're saving, how much carbon they're saving, and how much money they're saving by power stating their equipment. Just an innovative little ap application. So here's the way our customers are using this technology today. John Smith either badges in or shows up with his smartphone. The lights are turned on, the printers are turned on. Everything associated with John Smith in that directory is power stated. And the same is true when our fictitious John Smith leaves the building, all of his personal productivity devices and lighting and HVAC, this, in this particular application with our customer, this is a very smart building. So we have control right down to the workspace, to the cubicle. Basically what we're doing is we're driving energy intelligence. If you ask any business person today how much energy is their IP infrastructure consuming, they don't have a clue. And so the intelligence and being able to optimize that energy is critical. We're a web-based application. We operate very closely with large partners like Cisco and Intel, uh, T-Systems and others. Um, basically the benefits of this typically are in five areas. One, being able to monitor. Once you can monitor, you can measure, and you can start a continuous improvement program. Two is in sustainable procurement. Most people have no idea that version A of PCs that exist in one area of the office or version B of a different PC, the difference in power consumption. So you can actually justify CapEx versus OpEx trade-offs because you can see what this old infrastructure is consuming in terms of energy. Obviously, we can power manage distributed office equipment like I just showed you, uh, optimize and virtualization cloud computing strategy. Um, this is happening in data centers today. Every data center we walk into is fully instrumented, power's being monitored to the, to the watt, and yet, there's absolutely no visibility into the fact that all these virtualized servers are operating at 10, 12, 15, 18% utilization. So why virtualize if you're not gonna use them? And, that, and that's in most cases what's happening. Load adaptive computing and networking is a fascinating new horizon. Um, we're finding that about 70% of the energy consumed by ISPs and service providers is actually wasted. I thank you for your time. I'm, I'm out of time. You know, Michael, thank you. Indeed. I have, um, I have one or two questions. I'm hearing that um, VCs are lining up to buy a share in your company. <laughs> Can you give us a little update? I think it's still not announceable, but uh, just a feeling. Sure. How popular are you in the investor world these well, days? Well, <laughs> we, we have... Um, we have spoken with over 80 venture capitalists who have solicited us for investments. And while we are not specifically raising capital today, uh, we will need capital and a lot of capital to grow this business, even though it's a very capital efficient business. So, um, you know, being a multi-time entrepreneur, um, capital is a good thing and we need capital to grow. So, uh, jewelx.net. <laughs> and uh, send me an email. I'm happy to happy to talk to you. Okay. Mm -hmm.